Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November Singles Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, we're looking at November Singles. I'm going to take whatever comes here. Keep in mind it could be past, present, or future. Do keep that in mind. If you're looking for new love only, I'll be doing that a little later on the channel. So for now, we're going to be looking at your energy and then the energy around you. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch, or reverse it. If you need to, cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, if something shows up here you're not interested in, it's not resonating, totally fine. It won't every time. Uh, just leave it for somebody else. You definitely check out other readings on the channel. But hopefully it does resonate. But Welcome in Sag. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So it's almost your birthday coming up soon. We just started Scorpio, but next month it'll be Sagittarius. But anyway, let's see what we have for you. Trust. Recovery. Yes. And choose a new direction. So what I think I feel here, Sag, this could be you or maybe someone around you, but I feel like somebody has definitely uh, recovered over something and they just need to trust that going in a new direction and this could be maybe, you know, a new person or something like that is definitely the way to go because the spirit is definitely is here saying, yes, just need to trust in this new direction and that everything's going to be okay. So this could be someone around you, maybe hesitant to come towards you or maybe you towards him so let's see all right Sagittarius so let's see what's going on here we're gonna look at your energy first Sagittarius November singles what do we need to know Sagittarius energy please for November let's see Sagittarius what do we need to know or Sagittarius singles Eight of Pentacles, so you're working hard. King of Wands, but you're not feeling confident enough yet. Five of Cups, but you're over something. You know, sadness, loss, regret, but it's a reverse, so you're over something here that has happened. There's the recovery. Six of Wands is success, victory. And Four of Pentacles, no holding back. Sag, I feel like we're looking at your energy. Like I said, that could be you, King of Wands, Reverse. It's like, came okay, over something and I don't want to hold back. I think something could be very successful. No, I've worked hard, but yet I'm still not feeling quite confident enough though I want to do it. So there's definitely a holding back here. So whether this is someone, you know, making an offer to you and you're like, hmm, I don't know, or you like want to make this offer to somebody, but you're not feeling confident enough to do that. Hmm. The King of Wands is Leo for me, but it definitely could be you, Sag. So I'll say Sagittarius or Leo. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. Ten of Cups. So this could be happiness, fulfillment, joy. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe it's been a long time coming. Slow moving here. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. These are like two marriage cards. Knight of Wands is usually someone who uh, has like carefree abandonment who can, you know, pursue whatever they choose. Strong, courageous, and brave. Go-getter makes things happen. Fiery, passionate, puts their plans into motion. What's you, Sag? I feel like two energies um, coming together here. Like, Sag, you, and then maybe somebody else coming through and like mowing down these energies that are in the middle like two people coming together and whatever is in the middle here like just mowing right over it if <laughs> that makes sense like right over it this person wants ultimate happiness and then Sag I mean you could have been feeling unfulfilled in something here and you know no longer waiting to take action hmm okay all right, so let's get a little more about your energy, Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's get a little more about your energy for Sagittarius here. All right, Sag. A little bit more for Sagittarius' energy. Four of 
Ooh, the sun. Total enlightenment, growth, expansion. Moon is coming out of coming out of illusionment. The moon is the sun, reverses the sun upright. Wow. Total, total enlightenment there about something. No more stalemating, no more hesitating. No more feeling unfulfilled. Just want happiness, joy, and fulfillment. So Sagittarius, either you're going to finally just accept something here and trust it's all going to be okay, or you're finally going to put, put yourself out there. Because you're tired here of feeling stalemating and feeling unfulfilled. You just want to be happy. And the sun, happiest card in the deck, and always in the moon reverse is coming out of illusion, seeing things clearly, no fear. This is masculine and feminine energy as well. So I have uh, Leo, Pisces, Aquarius showing up here. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Slaying those dragons. That could be a little bit of fear, anxiety. Maybe, you know, wielding this Ace of Swords, knowing that slaying a dragon, but also need to take that sword to maybe clear up some kind of energy here. There's been very slow change or no change in the situation. There's been a healing, mending of a broken heart. I feel like it could be the other person went through a situation or maybe you have been. But now it's about opening a heart up again with the King of Cups here. Or maybe been hiding feelings for someone as well. Struggling through something here. Pause. Stalemate again. But there is a connection here with the Two of Cups. Hmm. Okay. All right. Sag. All right. Let's see. Let's see the energy around you at this time. For Sagittarius. Energy around Sagittarius at this time. Let's see what we need to know. Sagittarius. What is the energy around you? What do we need to know about this? Eight of Swords Reverse. So there's some sort of energy that's becoming unstuck. Ten of Pentacles. Could be out of stuck out of a marriage, becoming unstuck from a marriage or a commitment of some kind. And then taking action, maybe towards you, Sagittarius. We have you right there. Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Some it could be same sex, doesn't have to be. Queen of Pentacles to me sometimes is somebody who is married, but I'm feeling like somebody is out of that now and maybe free to love here with and take action. Or is maybe somebody has a choice between two. I wasn't really feeling that, but um, the Queen of Cups about opening our heart up, love, intuition, higher knowing, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. Queen of Pentacles, stable, grounded, secure, being wise, practical, and smart, taking our time and not rushing. Hmm. Do have the Hierophant here though. In the Ace of Cups. So we do have new love, higher level love. Okay, I'm hearing bring me a higher love. So we do have a higher love here. I mean, the Hierophant is a high frequency energy, but there's been a conflict. Five of Wands, no longer feeling defeated with Five of Swords reversed. But there was a block, but it's decision time on a connection here that is you, Sag. So it could be someone is making a decision about you. They're no longer feeling defeated. They've been through a lot of conflict, con blah, conflict, ready to open up their heart again. And realizing this is like a higher level um, love. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So we do have here Cancer, Capricorn, Sag. All right. So let's see. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? The energy around them. And now this person could have been in the other situation while they were in love with you. Or vice versa. You know, you could have been in a situation about in love with somebody else. Kind of seeing that Queen of Pentacles as dedicated or in a um, contract of some kind, but actually in love with somebody else. That's kind of what I'm feeling as well. All right. What else do we need to know about, um, but obviously if you're single now, definitely out of that situation, or maybe this was the other person. All right, let's see. Empress in reverse. Hangman. 
So I definitely feel like you're single Sag, but you were losing hope on this situation because it's been stuck for so long. Yeah, you're single. But the energy around you too is somebody is single too. Hmm. Tower, but it's a, such a slow change that, again, losing hope that this emperor... Now, we do have the emperor and the empress, which is a couple, both in reverse, which means... There is a chance here for this both to turn upright and for these two energies to come together. That you can get on the same page. So we got two cards of Aries and we got Libra Taurus. Three Pentacles, growth, expansion. Maybe work together at one time. Doesn't have to be though. Seven Swords. Again, there's been avoidance, running out of fear. But again, trusting intuition here. So we got trust up there. We did see the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck a minute ago. That's my spiritual couple of the deck. Fool, fresh clean slate, fresh start, taking that leap of faith, no baggage. Traveling, moving, distance, positive movement forward, success, victory, balance with the chariot. And something manifesting here. At the same time, while all toxic energies have been released. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we need to know here for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, what else do we need to know? For singles, definitely here. All right, what else do we need to know? Seven of Wands being open and vulnerable, it is in reverse. Six of Cups, there's a return. For the Union, oh my God, a return. What's that song by um, Enya? Return to Innocence or something? That's what I'm. That's the first thing that came to my head. Four of Swords is a healing, rest, recovery, which we have up there. And then Justice here, a soul contract, past life, things meant to be, universal law and order, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. That could be divorce. So something uh, divine order is taking place here. There's a return for soulmate connection here letting down our guard being open vulnerable and praying manifesting manifesting um healing yeah all toxic energies have been released <clears throat> it's not over there's still a lot more to be written in this story but thinking about the energy at, um, sorry at a distance clarity has to come in communication has to come in but it is a connection here with the uh, lovers and we do have forward movement here, Sag. Look, forward movement, according to dating, getting to know with soulmate alchemy, divine timing, things meant to be, peace, harmony, joy, love, light, peace, balance, healing. Wow. So something's going to move forward here, Sag. Definitely. We do have uh, Capricorn energy here. Libra energy showing up too. So I feel like here... Um, this person is choosing a new direction, and they're definitely, yes, they're coming towards you. Sag. All right. So let's see what we need to know out of this deck. So if it did resonate, Sag, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. Everything you need to know is down below. My other channel is now my All Leo channel. So if you have any Leo in your chart, or you want to cross-watch for a Leo, have any Leo friends that watch Tarot, please do let them know. Check it out. Link is below. Readings go up every single day. All subjects, all topics, and there's something different for everyone. All right. Let's see. Sag, what else do we need to know? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So this is, again, trusting our intuition, our knowing what our body is telling us. And this person finally, I think, is finally listening. Surrender the drama. Yeah, this person let go of some sort of toxicity they were trapped in. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. I don't know what's in the astrology. I'm not an astrologist, but it seems like you're my last singles reading. 
that the majority of them have been about missed opportunities. So I don't know if there's something in the astrology right now about um, things of the past coming back or whatever. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Leave a comment. <laughs> I don't think there's any retrogrades going on right now, is there? Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. This has been coming out a lot too. So maybe you've been obsessing about, you know, this person coming your way and saying, you know, just trust your intuition. Yep, surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus the power on Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So yeah, don't worry and trust. And there could be a lot of joy coming in here as well. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.